on this week's episode of Life at Love Luxury. Preparations for London Fashion Week. We've got London Fashion Week. False allegations. Yeah, another reseller is saying negative things about Love Luxury. And Porsche negotiations. How many miles on the clock? this now then it will save us time later when we bring everything up again so I think if our offspring is done and shoes is done we'll sort out all the cupboards that need to be sorted out and then allocate them throw things away keep things we need organize it all so when we do come back up we're, yeah we're ready again okay. for action so as the renovations were on the way it was a perfect time to clear the store and start fresh meanwhile it's London Fashion Week and Emily is upstairs preparing for the long week ahead. I've got a lot of going on at the moment, so I do feel quite stressed, but I don't feel nervous, per se. I'm not really a person that suffers from nerves. I'm quite bold and fearless. London Fashion Week is almost here. I'm quite lucky like that. Is that on the outside or is that on no, the inside as well? Yeah, you just you feel calm. Yeah, that's good. But I just we've got a lot going on. Yeah, uh, not like we've got the builders in. The shop's going to be shut. We've got London Fashion Week. Mm. You know, there's so many aspects of things going on behind the scenes as well. So, you know, when you have so many things going on. Not anxiety, but I just feel a little bit, yeah, okay, not as yeah. relaxed as I normally would be. Emily, by the way, I saw you and Adam live last night. <laughs> what were you guys doing on TikTok? <laughs> I had like a headscarf wrapped around my head and I had a filter on to make Did me look like I, had my, like I had makeup on. Yeah. Oh, nice. Basically, we were battling each other on oh, TikTok cool. live. Good. And people were going, oh, you two have got, oh, got yeah. the same bed. <laughs> and we were like, <laughs> I kept putting my hands over his face so they could see my nails and then I was doing like that so and and people were just they were like are you dating and oh my like, god no we're married and back downstairs okay, the band piece you. and Arkle's piece arrives for Adam to inspect. we're renovating by the way sweet a nice piece do you have the paperwork here let's have a yeah. quick look although we were mid renovation and the shop was a complete mess we were still able to potentially take appointments to buy and sell certain pieces can i have a loop please how much was you expecting they sold me 50 percent of the retail price see, which is great what helps and you've got the outer box and the main box Adam checks the necklace has its original box and papers before he can proceed okay. any further. Let's have a quick look for you. Do you have your ID? Yeah. The messages we get right. are so many that we don't have enough time in the day. Okay. And we've been working until like 11 or 12 in the night time just oh, to wow. catch up. We wake up in the morning, it's full because we get people in America message us, Dubai message us, Australia. Um, and it's like, because our followers are around the whole world, people are selling bags from there, they, they, you know, they want to buy a watch, they're landing yeah. in a country. Yeah. So it gets to a point yeah, where... That's good though. Yeah, yeah. Because, I mean, it's really hard to be reliable on this. Yeah, thing. we regularly face an immense flurry of activity in terms of buying and selling goods. I'm thankful and it's to be expected as we are the industry leaders in our field. A year and a half ago, because we're getting 50 people a day. But when you've got a couple of hundred yeah. and not everyone knows how to price because it's not easy for every single person to, un to know what it yeah. can sell for, what it can buy for because everyone has their own niche. Yeah. We're actually looking yeah. for people at the moment to, to sort of help with the pricing, etc. Oh. at the same time, yeah, so. And we've got, like, it's, our, it's our building. So upstairs is people filming. Is this new? No, it's not new. We're renovating. Okay. So we're making it fresh. Fresh for the year. It, <laughs> for 2022. With more security. Hi, my name is Tina, and today I came to Love Luxury to apply for a job as a TikTok content creator. Tell me about how you can improve um, our our sort of content on our social network with your skill set. So you have like this um, this catchy thing called the mm. billionaire, mm. and I, I think that was something that was really catchy at first. Mm. Um, I was attracted to this. Mm. That's the first 
the word I was attracted mm. to, mm. the billionaire's daughter or the mm. billionaire's wife, mm. it's all perfect already. Mm. It's just that he needs to get in trend and see what's out there and mm. what, what people are posting about and mm. uh, just recreate it. Of course, and then, but is that something that you'd be good at? I'd so? love to uh, explore mm. and think of a way that uh, I could bring this uh, idea to my own. Your background is editing. Um, Adobe, Illustrator, Photoshop, tell us what you can do. Our system of screening and recruiting must be both rigorous and thorough to maintain an exceptional standard throughout the company. What do you love about Love Luxury? I love how it feels like a family, mm. like everyone, like different backgrounds and everything, mm. and how you engage with people on social media as mm. well. You don't really care. Mm. You don't, I mean, not care, but you don't take it really into account. Is there any questions that you'd like to ask Love Luxury and the company or myself? Well, questions to you. To you. What, kind of, what kind of candidate are you looking for? Someone willing to put in the extra effort, yeah. someone willing to work very closely with my family, um, because my family is around here and we are a close and we are very close knit. How big this team is because mm. I've only seen a few mm. of them. So I mean in total I think there's around 12 of us. You know you might not see the photographer, you won't see the editors, you won't see the people that are filming, yeah. you won't see everyone doing the trends, you won't see behind the scenes. Adam, he's a really nice guy. There's nothing much to say. I love the store. Everything was so organized and it feels like a family here. And yeah, I hope I got into this family. Yeah. It's a bit hectic and noisy as you can tell. Yeah. And upstairs is very busy. But I think let's uh, move on from here and we'll keep in contact. Of course. Yeah? Are you ready I to see yeah. the final reveal? Oh my god! It looks absolutely amazing. My skin looks glowing. What product did you use? I went for the Dior for the foundation. I want to give a huge shout out to Sophia Shakir MUA for my makeup for London Fashion Week. She did an amazing job. 2.5. <laughs> yeah, it's a great one. It's actually their new one. It's called Forever Glow. So I think it's recently come out, um, but it's really, it's a lightweight one, but you can build it up. It's really good coverage um, and it doesn't feel like I've got any makeup on. Yeah, and it photographs amazingly. Wow. Um, so it's great, great for the ca uh, camera. I love yeah. it. I really love it. And I really like that the eyes are smoky but not too heavy and that there's that little bit of light in there as well to give yeah. it that little uplift to make yeah. my green pop. So look the green in my eyes, I mean. Is this week? Yes, sir. Love, luxury. We love luxury. We love parcels and we love luxury. I wonder what's inside. Let's have a look. What do you think is inside? Maybe like a bag could be fun. Which brand? A Chanel bag. Who told you? Oh my god, really? <laughs> yeah. I know because I saw the name because I was speaking to the client um, because she's a, a regular. But how did you guess? I just feel like a guess. That's a very lucky guess. It's a letter with her name. But this is the bag. Ta da! Just do some bag. Could you show Judy downstairs, please? Just ask her how much she's selling for. Julia said she could sell it for 1500 Oh, perfect. Thank you so much. Oh, that's so much better. Beautiful. Yeah, it films so well, photographs so well. I'm really happy with it. It looks yeah, lovely. Yeah, it's giving you your eyes. Your yeah. skin is so light. Yeah, yeah. Friday is Thanks. our show. So tomorrow. Friday is Paul Costello, but it starts at 9 a.m. Okay. So I have to be here at 7. Yeah. And then I have to leave here at... I think half, I think quarter past eight. Paul Costello isn't the one that you were then? No, okay. no. So she's in the one on Monday the 20th, okay. and this is Friday the 17th. Okay. Um, would you like anything for lunch? Because I'm going to go uh, and grab something. If you I'm not sure. I am really hungry, but I'll have to have to think about it for a few minutes because I've literally yeah. just finished my makeup. So if that's okay. Yeah, no problem. Thank good. you. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> yeah, that looks insane. <laughs> thank, oh, thank you. you. So just to let you know um, that we've had some communication this morning from another reseller who that we've, that we've done business with and that there is, there is somebody out there who's She said another reseller. Yeah, another reseller 
is saying negative things about Love Luxury and me. And so in well, response, and you. Oh, I thought it was just me. I didn't say anything about you in there. I received a WhatsApp message from a reseller that we had dealt with on many occasions and who had been very happy with the business that we'd done with them. She was sending me a message warning me to tell me that another reseller was bad mouthing the business, making false allegations, and she just wanted to let me know. Like the people that you want them to read it, are they're going to read it? Yeah. So because they're following us and they're watching us, basically, so this they're going to read it. The message is going to be delivered. When you're on the way up, there's always people trying to knock you down, knock you down at every point, and this is probably one of the very first things we've experienced. Unfortunately, competitors can spread false accusations and stir up drama. But that's par for the course when you have such a large following, but we deal with it as best as we can. It's the way it is. Jealous people and... It's just, it's a stupid, it's a silly rumour, stupid. I think that's what the, the problem is, is that when they see that we're so successful, they see that as a threat to their own business. Completely. And so their instant reaction is, in business and life in general there will always be unfavorable moments it's all about how you face that adversity that counts the most on the, on the facebook groups that i'm very well known in and we're very well known in that they see that we've addressed it and I also think that we need to address it on the social medias because at, at least if it's a statement that's there and it's been put out, people can say, well, they've addressed it and yeah. they can see our response to it. I know the people who have said this know that we're genuine. Yeah. The people who have said this know these guys are so genuine. And I mean, everyone who like responds to me personally says, oh, Adam, you're so straight. Yeah. Yeah, as in, you know, like you guys authenticate um, yeah. other people's bags. Mm -hmm. you, your people come here that have issues with other companies, companies come here. The problem is, so you know, if companies are walking into our business using our facilities to help them get out of situations, we're at that top level. That rumor would never come from internally because everyone knows how it's straight the yeah. business is and genuine it is. Whereas it can only come from external for people that can't believe how well and how quickly we've grown. We've got multiple, multiple of our bags back into the store for because they want us to authenticate it. Yeah. It's because they trust us more, yeah. more to buy from here than they would to buy from somewhere else and then they'll come back to us and we're like, oh, that's our bag, it's good and they're like, okay, that's fine. So, you know, our reputation as we've always said. It also is a testament to us as a company, Love Luxury as a company, that other resellers will come to Love Luxury because they're sourcing specific items for their clients that they don't have and that they are they come to love luxury to purchase them from us and that's like every, nearly that's every, every single, single store. other store in this city love luxury are one of the most established and trusted luxury goods businesses in the industry which is what made the situation rather funny to be honest I almost think it's like, bring it on. What else have you got to bring us down? They've got nothing. There is nothing on yeah. us, so bring it on. Do you know war. the thing is though, it's only gonna make us stronger. It is, they think that they're doing us a disservice, but actually all they're doing is gonna make us even skyrocket even more because one, we're gonna knuckle down even harder and make sure that nothing goes out of here that isn't, I mean, it doesn't anyway, but like it will just make us even more tunnel vision to the authenticity route that we're already on anyway on social media her page and her and name slammed just to you just days ago you know her and then, and then the person responded oh no way not again she and her husband are very very trusted this will yet again be resellers making things up i completely promise you on that and then she goes she's been exposed to selling some counterfeit bags and then gives the excuse she didn't know they were not Real. She's she's got it getting us muddled up with that other she's person. Getting muddled up, muddled up. this yeah. sounds like the other person that got slammed like recently and she's having a problem with the court case and she's yeah. closing her business down to be honest once you put the um 
formal word. I've out. lies said about me before and wanted to let's, pass this on to your be, wife. Let's I move on. It's not even worth the eff- the energy of talking about it because it's not us. It's not something. Hundred percent. It can't be you. Like it's it's not it's not possible. And what's so upsetting about this is that this person has never dealt with us before. They've never done deals with us. And to be quite honest with you, when I heard it, I felt sad for the person. To be honest with you, because. If you have to speak badly about one of your competitors, then really that only reflects on yourself. After lunch, the girls went out to take some photos of the new custom faux fur coats made to order by Love Luxury. We are renovating. Yeah, I think. And we are renovating. <laughs> For a couple of days, we do have all the stock. Yeah. So if there, there is something you wanted to see, two of my colleagues, I don't know where they are. Where is that Emily and Maria? Maria. Are they downstairs? Call Maria, tell Maria to bring the iPad. Will you take a seat? Yeah, sure. Please get the iPad out, um, show the client some bits and bobs, show them to see some pieces, where some watches, etc. And if she needs to let us know, yeah, we can sort yeah. it out. I wanted to look at like your Hermes bags. What cards you get? Uh, the GTS Tundra, oh. 9-11. Custom made for me, it's black on black. People think I'm a Where is it? Just right up front. I love cars, as you probably know if you've seen the social media. Any Please. specific brand? Um, yeah, I wanted to look at your, um, the, maybe the Kelly. Okay. Like, with mm. the Palladium hardware and I don't remember like the name of the stitching yet. that makes it. They don't make it anymore. So I'll show you our Hermes stock and then you can let me know. And if anything, I can just pop downstairs and get it for you. Yeah, the Cellier. Uh, they don't really so make yeah. them anymore. Okay. They do. They do. Yeah, they still do them. Um, with this LEA, just because it's a very popular stitching, we get we it gets sold really quick. Okay. Yeah, I've got a Birkin in a Cellier style, and I've got a Kelly in a Cellier style. We've got that Kelly twenty five, and it's in black. I will show you the Kelly twenty eight we have in a Cellier style, so I can get you this bag out yeah. as well. It comes with the lock key and clochette, and what's nice about Kelly, you know, it has a strap, so you can wear it as a crossbody as well, which is very helpful. We've got some black Birkins in stock as well. That's yes. cute. I like that one because it's one, like yeah. it's but just like yeah. machine. Yeah, you know what that's I mean? that's a size thirty five. I can get can you this. I see this that one? Yeah, of course. And then can I see? Oh, this the, one? No, this is a thirty five. Yeah, that's well. a thirty five. We've got this in twenty five. Can I see that as well? Yes. I don't want you to bring too many up, so can I see the, that one and then that one in 25 and okay. then the first one? Okay, let me go downstairs and get you some of the bags so we can try them on. Sure. So I'm going to put it here. I'm just going to give you some gloves and I'm going to wear gloves so we can try them all together. So this size I would say is like a day size, you know, and it's... Yeah. This is size 35, so this is a black brick in 35. I really like this. This is like your. This would really yeah. match yeah. with like So that's Trent from Palladium Hardware. And it can go with things like this. It suits you. It's really nice. I think this is the one I want, so I'm yeah. just going to ask him if of course. I can get no it Of course, no problem. Now. We're going to go see Deborah's new Porsche. Wow, it's such a beautiful car. Yeah, do you want to open the... Let's have a look. Let's have a look inside. Can I jump in? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, it is, it feels a bit tight. Yeah, it does. It's because it's... um. These are made for um, the race tracks. It's very nice. You see yourself getting a Porsche? Definitely buy my wife a Porsche. It wouldn't be for me personally, but I wouldn't mind having one on the driveway. It's very, very nice. I do like it a lot. I think I need one for the driveway. You want to buy it? I'm getting rid of it. Selling it? Uh, How many miles on the clock? 2,000. Oh, it's brand new. No, I ordered another one, and my other one's coming in like, five, like seven months. One second, I can, let me see how much I buy and it And I live in the center, so I don't drive it anywhere. <laughs> just sort of keep it. But I'm getting the almost the exact same. No, 2,000 miles on the clock, yeah. yeah. Look, I actually had it on my screen. Really? Oh my it was, God. It was just sitting on the screen, because yeah, I was looking for one. So what would you sell this for, straight away? Uh, right now? Uh, yeah, right now. Oh, I couldn't sell it right now. I mean, oh, okay. But I can ask. Ask him how much you would sell it for, if he wants to get rid of it. Or, I mean, if he wants to sell it. Uh, I'll give you my number. Yeah, for sure. I'll and then, like, info, yeah, because definitely. Did you sell this for 12, right? Yeah, porch, it's a, it's a parchment, B35. That's a bank transfer price, yeah? Yeah, I've visited this story Instagram. Yeah. Story Instagram. Oh, cool, what we we'll do is that's fine. No, 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 I don't want to sit down, it's fine. You guys sit. You guys sit. Oh, can somebody open that? See it's, what's a, it's a handbag. It's a handbag? Yeah. Okay. Of course, yeah, we're here till like um, 6.45. 6.45? Mm. But best to come slightly earlier just so we can get things done. Get it packed if for you. I can make it back in time because I have tea mm. at Anfield's after this. Then can I pop in tomorrow? Of course you can. Anytime. <laughs>
Thanks for watching and don't forget to join us next week for another episode of Life at Love Luxury.